So, what a morning this is. The snow from, uh, from yesterday has, has frozen onto the trees overnight and has created this lovely coating over them, over the branches, over the barks. And I've just come out this morning to a woodland just to see if I can capture any of this. And I found myself a really nice composition here. And we've got these two sort of dominant trees in the, in the photo. And they're slightly crooked and they've just got that slight bit of dust and of snow on them. And we've got this first tree in the foreground that leads into the second tree and then you've got this fork of light that's been created. And I really, really like this image. We've got, uh, settings wise, we've got F22, ISO 200 and 1.5 of a second. Now the reason that I'm on F22 is because I want to create a sun star and that means my aperture blades are smaller meaning the sun star is bigger and more prominent and to create a sun star you just need to make sure that the that the sun is just peeking around something around like a tree or around an edge of something and then that creates the sun star with a small aperture um, like I say, I'm happy with this image, the first image for today. I'm excited to see what else I can get because there's just potentially so much to be had here. So, like I say, F22, ISO 200, 1.5 seconds. Two second timer. And a lovely, lovely image. changed my camera from uh, landscape to portrait and the reason being is the uh, composition just fits it a lot better. We've got these lovely two crossed, um, crossed branches that have fallen, these big logs that have fallen and they've just got this lovely coating of snow and they just lead your eye past one tree, past another tree and then there's this very sort of thin tree with these lovely branches that are just glowing white with the snow on them and it's just lovely to look at. I've just bracketed the image just because I want to make sure that I've got all the highlights and the details on the on the branches as well as the details in the big trees that aren't catching the sunlight as well. So I've just got the two trees sort of cutting in from the bottom left and the bottom right making this nice cross with this lovely little fin tree with the uh, the white wispy fingers almost. So settings wise I'm bracketing. I'm at f11, 140 for a second, ISO 200. Uh, 
and it's just it's just a lovely composition. I'm really happy with this one. I'm hoping it turns out all right when we blend the exposures together. last image of the day now because I've only just realized what what time it is and I need to get home so this shot is a little bit different uh, I've put my 56 mil lens on and we've got this silver birch tree and it's got these little twigs and these little plants around them that have just got again these very delicate uh, bits of snow hanging off them and I just really like the look of it it really looks quite pleasing. Um, so yeah, I've gone in with the shot here. I've got the silver birch on the on the right third, and then I've got these again these little fingers with these snow on that are just really really nice out of focus. So I've got my two second timer on. I'm at ISO 200 f 2.8. Uh, with one uh, 320th of a second shutter speed. So I'm just going to grab that shot now. A little adjust to the exposure. Uh, I really like that. I like how the sort of silver birch has just got a little bit of snow on it, not too much, but it's just a nice contrast between the whites and the, the whites and the blacks. It's really nice. I mean, I might try and squeeze another image in yet, but from what I can see, that might be the last one. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog guys, um, it's been an absolutely stunning morning, the snow is just absolutely incredible, and the way it just sticks to the trees is just brilliant, and the branches and things, it's so good. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more content from myself, and hope you have a great day, thanks for watching.